Hey there, I'm Chris. I would like to introduce that PDF Element has launched a new section of free online tools on the official website. These online tools are tailored to offer quick and accessible solutions for specific document management tasks. In this video, we'll dive into the new section to explore these new free online tools and exactly how you can use them. The first thing we need to do to access this new arsenal of free tools is to head over to the official PDF website at pdf.wondershare.com. Once there, we'll open the Products tab. This will open a panel where we'll see PDF Element products organized by category. The last category from the left to right contains the free online tools. From this panel, you can access the four most commonly used free online tools. However, below these options, you'll find this button. And if you click on it, it will take you to a different view where you can see and access all the new free online tools. Now let's take a look at how to use these tools, starting with the convert from PDF category. To demonstrate how the tools in this section work, I'll use the PDF to Word format conversion tool. When you access this tool, you'll find a field like this, where you can drag and drop your documents inside this area to upload them. As soon as your files finish uploading, you'll see a thumbnail preview of your document. Now all that's left to do is click the convert button and download the resulting file. Once the download is complete, you can open your new document, now in the docx format. What you see on the screen is a side-by-side -side comparison between the original PDF document and the version in docx format that the online conversion tool generated for me. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Now let's move on to the convert to PDF category. This time I'll take the JPEG to PDF tool as a reference. As you can see, similar to the tool we've seen before, this tool allows you to drag and drop your files inside the field to upload them. In this case, I'll use two scanned images that I want to convert into a single PDF document. After a couple of seconds of loading, my scanned images are ready to go. All that's left to do is click the convert button and then click the download button once they're ready. Once again, here are the results on the screen. You're seeing a side-by-side -side comparison so you can fully grasp the quality with which the tool converts my images into a PDF. It looks pretty good, don't you think? Finally, it's time to delve into the editing tools category. In this category, we'll find three tools that allow us to make adjustments to your documents in a very simplified manner. Let's take the compress PDF tool as a reference. File size is a crucial factor to consider when creating our documents because many messaging services have limits on file transfers, restricting files larger than 20 megabytes. Usually you can handle this by manually adjusting the size of inserted images to make them smaller, keeping the information concise and avoiding the use of custom fonts or extra graphic elements. However, thanks to PDF Elements online file compression tool, this won't be necessary. Simply upload your documents and choose a compression level. The higher the compression level you choose, the smaller your file size will be. Even though this process reduces the quality of images and graphic elements, the difference isn't really that noticeable. In this case, I managed to reduce a file from 18 megabytes to just six megabytes. Free online tools are truly versatile. Even if you're used to working with Windows or Mac versions, this new addition to your toolkit will greatly improve your document work especially for situations where offering clients, friends, or colleagues, a simple and user-friendly collaboration tool is necessary. In the video description, you'll find a direct link to explore these new free online tools yourself. I'm sure both you and your collaborators will absolutely love it. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If the video was helpful to you, I would appreciate it if you give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll continue bringing you more videos with many tips and tricks to make your work a lot easier. Also feel free to take a look at the other videos on the channel where you'll find more videos just like this one. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.